All right, so we're checking out the only subreddit where meeting the werewolf of your dreams is oftentimes met with crushing disappointment. It's r slash furry IRL. More disappointment, damn it. Yo, what up? It's your boy Anubis back at it again with another soul unboxing video. Now, as you can see, this one is a little heavier than a feather, which longtime viewers will know is really bad. <laughs> I can just imagine his intros going. Alright, that's the end of the video. Make sure to like, subscribe this video, share it with your friends, or else I'll take your ass to the underworld. Don't even try me, I will do it. <laughs> and he also has, a, has an OnlyFans, because, you know, of course he does. <laughs> but he doesn't talk about it much in his main videos, you know, it's mostly on his Twitter for some reason. Motherfuckers be like, asking tits o oh ass. Arms, bitch, I need a hug. Same. Same, pretty much. Constantly, my mood, pretty much. Same, yeah. I <laughs> I identify so much with this tweet. Belfroy, it's deformed. It's my kid now. It has no fur. It's going to freeze in the winter. Can it even breathe with a muzzle that flat? I don't care. It's my kid. You're like one of these days. I want to like read a VN that doesn't have like you know very gay undertones, very uh, homosexual themes. I don't have a problem with that. But, like, one of these days, I would like a furry visual novel where the main character is a child and he gets adopted by just the most motherly, the most, you know, uh, nurturing female furry or any parental furry character for that matter. And, you know, that's just the entire plot. Them just adjusting and living in a world that's pretty much new to them. Like, I would read the hell out of that, you know? It's just something new. First time commissioning a new artist. Uh, hello. Uh, I saw that your commissions were open, and I wanted to inquire and discuss an idea I had for a piece. 22nd time commissioning that same artist. Yo, yo, uh, you won't believe what dumb freaking idea I got this time, Lamau. <laughs> I can't wait to go home. I want to draw. Ugh, I'm tired and I want to draw. Finally, I'm home. Time to draw. Yeet. Nah, never mind. I got art block. <laughs> this is my mood every time I want to, like, you know, write something. To those of you who follow my uh, erotica, uh, furry erotica page on Twitter, yeah, the reason why I haven't been posting uh, more there is because of art, uh, art block. I'm sorry, writer's block. Writer's block is such a bitch, and I hate it. Aha! I finally spotted him. The school sponsored furry. Huh? I don't know. <sighs> My cover's blown! Ah! School sponsored fr Are you talking about a mascot? Like, a, a freaking sports mascot? So now, as I come to understand it, a furry can only be a mascot if being a furry becomes their main job. So if a, a furry is jobless, they're just a furry. Is... is that right? When they say, you'll never find another one like me, that's the point, you frick nut. Yeah, this is quite prevalent in most toxic relationships when it ends. It's the toxic person that goes, you're never gonna find another one like me. You're like, yeah, that's the freaking point. The fact that your ex is going to, you know, uh, avoid someone who acts like you, talks like you, it means that you have taught them a lesson, a very valuable lesson in, you know, picking their future mid or whatever. They're gonna end up finding someone who's better. And by better, I mean not you. The complete opposite of you. Hey there! Long time no see. How have you been? Is, is she waving at me? Hiya, what's up? I, oh my god, Nil, it's been forever. Shit. Mmm, just, mmm, I, 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 I feel the embarrassment in my bones. For IRL, what did I say about making your posts to be so, so painfully relatable? Mm. Hoof, noun, the horny part of the foot. Mm. <laughs> I don't like that face. <laughs> Oh, where is this from? I don't like it. Get it away from me. 
The fact that we've only explored slash discovered 4% of the visible universe means that Anthros could still actually exist and we just haven't found them yet. And they are going to remain unfounded because with how huge the universe is, if, you know, I have a theory actually, if by some reason they are on their way here right now, any other kind of alien, if they're on their way here right now, by the time they get to us, they'd probably be dead. You know, uh, armadas of alien ships will like, you know, enter our atmosphere and inside of them are just, you know, dust, bones, and the remains of the people who used to man those ships. Because like I mentioned, the universe is so large, it's gonna take a long time for them to get here. Oh, please don't eat me. I'm so helpless. It would be such a shame if a big, handsome werewolf like yourself, Kushmak, were to ravage my body. See, if you're walking down the forests of Romania at night and you happen to, you know, come upon a very aggressive, a very tall, a very buff looking werewolf, mind you that that is not a husband worthy creature. Canonically, werewolves exist to, you know, water the blood, you know, water the ground with the blood of their victims, but. Uh, you know, just keep in mind that these are very ravenous creatures. They will destroy you. Not even in a very sexy way. They will tear you limb from limb and break every single bone in your body. Never mind the fact that you have the libido of libido of a hummingbird, alright? It doesn't matter what you are, you will get destroyed. My mom, you have a porn addiction because you are possessed by an evil spirit. The evil spirits. <laughs> mm, yeah, possess me with thine power. <laughs> I I've actually seen the full image of this and it's actually a very powerful, powerful artwork. It's a powerful picture. It's gonna do stuff to you. But if, uh, if somehow evil spirits do look like this and act like this, my god, I will, I will sell them my soul in a heartbeat. I wouldn't even care if my soul goes down to hell in a stripper pole a la Montero, so long as I get an evil spirit that looks like Amicus. Mm, yeah. <laughs> that's that's a good trade offer, don't you think? Bones. Bones, 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 Oh yeah, by the way, pretty soon I'm gonna be incorporating fan fictions in my uh, in my writing project. But there's gonna be like you know a bit a bit of a trade-off for you know for a fanfic for, for for a very erotic fan fiction. If you want me to write that for you, there's gonna be a little bit of trade-off there. I'm still going to like you know um, figure out the trade-off or what what I want in return for those fan fictions. But uh, yeah, pretty soon I'm gonna be adding those uh, uh, those kinds of literature in my writing. So uh, yeah, watch out for that. And that brings us to the end of our slash furry IRL. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, chat with me on Discord, support me on Coffee. My coffee link is in the description below. And don't forget to check me out on TikTok. The links are provided for you in the description below. This has been your fellow generic cookpaws88, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Stay foxy, much love.